and uh, these rooms they work out as a processional a kind of a, a processional route of state apartments that run right around the palace of, as we've seen through the queen's rooms um so over here we have the king's staircase uh, which is inspired by the Opera Garnier in Paris. But we're not going to look at it just yet. Um, but there's a little teaser. And then there's a door here. Again with these private staircases. So we'll see more of that in just a moment. But let's follow the state apartments. So this room is the Salon of Peace. And you'll notice the decor in here is a lot more simple. A lot more kind of subdued, a lot more subdued, a lot more calmer looking um, compared to the Salon of War, which is much harsher in terms of decoration. But this room is more simple, more calmer, and that's the theme of this space, is the Salon of Peace. And look at that view, isn't it magnificent? Um, so going to carry on this this room that we're going to walk into now is the very last room of the king's state apartments which is the king's apotheosis drawing room which is apotheosis i believe i believe means uh like the end of something the apotheosis um so i decided to name this room the king's apotheosis drawing room uh and it, it's just, it's so different, the colour scheme in here. It's so unusual. But I think it really worked out well. Um, it's just so beautiful. You know, every room, I, I, I've just, I've really gone for that high style. You know, every detail in every room just has to be on point. You know, especially in the state apartments, because they are for show. You know, that they're, they're for... Uh, decoration they are for representing the power of the monarchy you know the, the wealth and the power of the monarchy you know um so these room these rooms really are designed for show for displaying wealth and power and i think i've really i've really caught that here um but yeah this is my favorite room uh, apart from the other room well <laughs> not to keep going on but it just really is it's so wonderful it's it's just one of my favorite spaces in the king's apartments so this next space here um is not part of the state apartments it's part of the chapel complex and we've arrived in the chapel sort of complex of the palace which is a series of rooms as well as the chapel itself so this is the upstairs kind of uh, chapel antechamber the waiting room and uh, we're going to walk in here and we're going to I've shown you this before but this is the Chapel Royal at the Blue Palace and it is magnificent isn't it it's so vast it's so huge um, you know it's so grand isn't it and it's just so wonderful there's the altar over there you can see and the floor, the detailed floor, and the colonnade, which surrounds the room. Uh, this room isn't actually fully completed. I've still got to build the chandeliers on the right side. But for the most part, this room is completed, and it's so wonderful. Um, so this is the king's balcony here, where he would sit with the royal family when events were going on in here such as uh, daily mass he would sit in here on the balcony with with the royal family and then the aristocracy who also resided at court would stand upon the colonnade that surrounds the chapel so the upper aristocracy the high nobility would stand around the chapel on this kind of balcony area and the lower aristocracy and the um, bourgeoisie would be on the ground floor um, burghers, they were called in the 18th century, sort of middle class people, and uh, the lower nobility would be on the ground floor, and the high nobility would stand on these balconies, and then the royal family would sit in this, it, it's called the King's Tribune, 
um, where he would sit. So let's go downstairs and let's have a quick look at the chapel from the ground floor because you can appreciate it more uh, from that kind of point of view. You'll see the vastness of the chapel. This is the little entrance hall for the chapel on the ground floor. I just haven't um, lit it up just yet. But here we are. You can see how great, how great it is, how magnificent it is. Every part is just so wonderful, so beautiful, so just colourful, isn't it? And it's just... Uh, the sun is a continued symbol in this room. And you'll see, and the columns and the way the gold wraps around the columns are on on the tribune there, how it kind of scatters down the, the columns. A chapel like this with two levels is known as a Palladian chapel. And it's just so wonderful. So the chapel at Caserta, because obviously Caserta in Italy is a kind of Italian version of Versailles, built by the King of Naples. And he wanted to create his own palace of Versailles. And uh, it was never proposed that the chapel would look like the chapel at Versailles. But it just did in the end. And um, at least it follows the same shape and the same layout. Uh, but obviously the chapel at Caserta is a bit different. Um, but the altar here is magnificent. Um, all these kind of tall candles, and you've got the centerpiece there. It really is wonderful, absolutely wonderful. And we'll just walk through and we'll take a look at the um, this other little room in here, which I haven't really completed yet, but it's a, a room where the band would sit and play their instruments as um, ceremonies would take place next door in the chapel. Yeah. <laughs> but there it is. There's there's the Chapel Royal. And I'm pleased to have presented that to you guys because it really is a proud achievement of mine that the Chapel Royal is so magnificent. Anyway, and there's more to see. So let's carry on. Um, I told you guys this would be a, this would be a lot. There'd be a lot to see. Um... Anyway, let's carry on. Um, so now we have to go this way. Now this is a this is a brand new extension I've just done on the palace. It hasn't been here for long, but look at this corridor. Isn't it beautiful? It's a Prococo kind of uh, themed corridor, and it stretches right across. What am I saying? It stretches right across the uh, north wing of the Blue Palace. So the north wing elevation that was added on. Um, this hall leads right along the north wing. Um, and look how beautiful it is. It's so... There's no, there's no gold in here, but it's still very elegant, isn't it? With the kind of... The vaulted look on the ceiling. And there's so much detail to this hall. I haven't even finished off the other end of it just yet because it's so. There's just so much. It's so detailed. Look at the windows. You know, looking out onto the courtyard here. Um. You know. And then we have the uh, the central kind of uh, lobby area, which um, leads off into different apartments. Uh, the suites, really, that belong to the aristocracy. So, the higher you were in terms of status at court, so the higher your status at court, the higher your position, the nicer your apartments would be. So these apartments, which will be in here eventually, um, in these areas, would be reserved for the very high nobility or members of the royal family. Okay, and there'll be, there'll be more through there eventually as well, more apartments. There's so much to do, you guys, so much to do. And there's the staircase which leads down onto the ground floor and um, 
up onto the next level above. Because yes, there is another level above this one, uh, which, which will be the exact same kind of layout as this, but just on, on the top floor. Um, okay, this is this is going to be really interesting. So this in here, I've just completed. Actually, we'll we'll, we'll enter this room from the um, we'll, we'll enter it from the proper way. Let's say. So there's nothing here just yet. Okay. So this room is known as the Opera Royal kind of waiting room, and clues in the name because this room is part of the opera complex and it's a huge waiting room uh, similar to the waiting room at Versailles and it's where the audience would gather before entering into the opera house um, and here we have it look at this room oh just love it um, so this is the Royal Opera House at the Blue Palace. Um, these corridors here, they lead down to staircases, which uh, go to the different levels of the Opera House. But look at it, isn't it beautiful? The big kind of red, red velvet curtain, keeping us all in suspense as, as to what's going to happen. The big golden columns. You know, the beautiful ceiling decoration. The boxes you can see to the left and the right. Reserved for the uh, the high nobility. A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3. And then you've got this just this crazy room. And up there we have the royal box. And um, where the king would sit in the royal family. But look at the space. The stage is so lit up as if it's ready for a performance to happen. It's so incredible. I just adore it. And I've just finished creating this. It took me a hell of a long time, but I just adore this space so much. Anyway, let's find these supposed staircases and go and see if we can um, enter one of the boxes beside the stage. So because this, this opera house was built kind of like with poor planning, I must say, um, the staircases are a bit kind of dodgy. Um, so you'll see here, it was built in haste. It was built quite quickly. So the staircases are a bit kind of all over the place. But we're in B2 here. And look at the view we get of the stage. And you can see all of the, the details and everything. And then um, up again. To B1 on the top level, um, which is very, very high up. But yeah, look at the curtain. I just love it so much. You can see all of the seats from here. And... Uh, the lighting of this room is quite dark because I wanted the room to look as though a performance was about to start. So all the stage is all lit up. And actually, um, in this room, you can turn off all of these chandeliers if you want to. Um, it is Obviously, it's a process, but you just flick the switches like this. And you can turn off the chandeliers if you want to. Um... But I don't see why you'd need to, but it's just kind of a little a trick there, because if you want the um, opera house to be dark and the stage be lit up, then you can do that. And also the, the lights all around the room can turn on and off, so if you want the opera house to be a bit brighter, you can go around and turn on all the lights. And before you ask, no, I don't know how to use redstone properly. I'm not really that good with redstone. I'm a builder. You know, but I just don't know how to use redstone properly. So I'm very basic when it comes to that. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, but all these lights you can turn off as well if you want to. Oops. Uh, all these lights can come on and off. So it just depends on how you want to, how you want to do it. I would like to create a... Um, 
a system of lighting where you can turn it all on and off at the same time, but I'm not really bothered, you know. Uh, this room really is just for just for show, really. But if you want to use it as a an actual functioning opera house, you can do that. But isn't it amazing? So let's come out of here. Now, where can we go next? I think what we'll do next is we'll go and visit the uh, the daughter's apartments. Um, the, the apartments of Madame. Uh, so this bit here is an outdoor space. And what will be here eventually is columns and things. But you would use this under bit here to sort of access the gardens from the uh, main palace entrance area. So you'd use this under bit here to kind of walk in and out um, from the palace to the gardens, etc. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to visit the apartments of Madame, um, so the, the king's daughters. And I just want to, I'll just quickly just fly out here and we'll enter the apartments from the main entrance. Um, so I, we might as well show you this now. So this is the king's staircase in the Blue Palace and it's so wacky, isn't it? It's so crazy. It's so over the top. But um, I really wanted to give off that kind of grand theme for this room. Really just magnificent uh, look, really. And like I say, this staircase is inspired by the Opera House, the Opera Garnier uh, in, in Paris. It, um, and the also, what was once the Ambassador's Staircase at the Palace of Versailles, the combination of the two, I created this room, which is the King's official Grand Staircase. So like the Queen's Staircase we saw, this is the, king, this is the King's Staircase, um, which is like, like I said, the kind of ceremonial entrance into the um the apartments so let's go in anyway um so these are the the apartments of madame the apartments of the king's daughters sophie and victoire i believe oh no sophie and henriette 